looking for love this Valentine's Day, you might have to master flirting first. I met with a dating expert who is hosting parties to show singles the tricks of the trade. It's Gigi. I just thought I hadn't heard from you and, I mean, how stupid is it that a gal's got to wait for a guy's call anyway, right? Need some tips on flirting? Datologist Tracy Steinberg is the master. Just go for it. It's really not that scary. You can even start by asking someone, do you know what time it is? Even something so simple like that can start a conversation and then next thing you know, you're married. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. Tracy holds these events in New York and LA and she's been doing it for about seven years. And once you get the flirting tips down, what better way to get your flirt on than with a battle of the sexes game. I'm very good at making people laugh, but I kind of miss the mark when it comes to stepping over that line from friend into something else. So what is the key to being a good flirt? Eye contact. It's all in the eye contact. Number two, talk about what they want to talk about. The best way to become someone's passion is to align yourself with their passions. And finally, don't forget to have some fun. Be light and breezy about the conversation. Enjoy yourself. As for the benefits of a little flirting, you never know how far it may take you. So you, you went through this before. Did you get a date out of it? Yes, I did. It was a great experience in me being able to apply everything that I learned from the last time I came here. And so I found it to be beneficial. That I have to stop thinking that every guy will change. That I have to stop thinking that... Well, to attend a flirting party, it will cost you $65, or you can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session. All the information is on our website. You can find that at foxandfriendsfirst.com.